What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the SMS Protect being added to Modern Warfare 2. This is going to be another layer of protection to kind of, you know, help against cheating and things like that. This is something that is in Overwatch 2 as well. Of course, that is an Activision Blizzard game. And it has been a bit of an issue since the launch of Overwatch 2 along with several other things. Let's go ahead and talk about exactly what that SMS Protect is. In an effort to combat cheaters is kind of how Activision Blizzard announces it. They've introduced the SMS Protect system where players must have a phone number connected to their account to play the games. Blizzard confirmed that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 uh, will have those uh, kind of same parameters as Overwatch 2 does when it comes to requiring that phone number. Uh, Blizzard says that a lot of cheaters keep creating the same accounts on the same phone number. So this is just kind of another layer of protection to, you know, if they're banned from a game for cheating, they're not going to be able to just keep creating multiple accounts because they can just keep using that exact same phone number. So it makes it inconvenient for people who cheat, but also making it more expensive, uh, you know, and kind of uneconomical to develop these cheats. So they're looking at it from a perspective of it's going to hurt the people that are making the cheats and also hurt the players that are getting caught for cheating because they will not be able to use that same number over and over. So a lot of Modern Warfare uh, 2 fans were happy to hear about this. A lot of Call of Duty fans in general were happy to hear about this. But there has been a bit of an issue when it comes to Overwatch 2. A lot of players are reporting when they're trying to log in to Overwatch 2 that they are unable to because the new phone kind of system, having to have your phone number in there, is not working correctly. It's saying it's locking them out of the game for having a prepaid phone contract. And there's a lot of people out there now that don't have contracts with just like your normal Verizon or your AT&T or T-Mobile, whatever the case may be. A lot of people have prepaid phone contracts. Uh, sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's easier, whatever the case may be. And they say that the system sometimes is not recognizing those prepaid phone contracts and not allowing you to get into the game. It's not, it's not like it's working as intended so it's kind of recognizing your phone number is maybe not being correct. It's just not recognizing the company or maybe it thinks you were a cheater and you're trying to do something. I'm not quite sure because Blizzard has not really said exactly what they see as the problem. Uh, hopefully these issues will get worked out before this is implemented into Modern Warfare 2 because we all want a good game where we can play and not have to worry about play, playing with cheaters all the time. I know a lot of Warzone fans are, are worried about that as well. So between Ricochet and this new system that's going to make you, of course, have to have that phone number, that SMS Protect system, should make it harder to cheat in-game. Now, will it make it impossible? Definitely not. But it's just, like I said, kind of adding another layer of protection for everyone out there that is playing legitly to have to not be in lobbies with people that are cheating all the time. So, like I said, hopefully these issues that uh, people are experiencing right now on Overwatch 2 is going to be maybe worked out before Modern Warfare 2 work, you know, kind of comes out. So they will, we won't have the exact same issues there. But if Modern Warfare 2 does release and you are having issues with those prepaid kind of phone contracts, when you're wanting you to, you know, make your Blizzard account with a phone number, make sure it even says, you know, kind of when they talked about this a few days ago, so make sure that you contact Activision support and let them know the issue and let them know the problem because they are working diligently to try to figure out some way to get these issues fixed. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.